what it do cause me crew like comment and subscribe if you're new without further ado i got another video for you so balance and bliss to you all now when people start saying that remember where you heard it first balance and bliss all right anyways <laughs> this is information that is only for those that can handle it, those that are mentally and emotionally stable, those that have um, come to a point in their life where, you know, they've, they've regained their, their power back as a, as a woman. Um, they know their worth. They know their divinity. And this isn't for closed-minded, simple-minded people. This information is obvious <laughs> nothing I'm saying isn't completely obvious when you think about it but we have to remember that um, as a society we've been under a patriarchal rule you can see in in major religions how the essence of a woman has been stolen in all regard um, there's no mother figure in most religions that is put on the same pedestal as as the father right with that being said most doctrine that's taught is is to shame women to make us feel um dirty filthy to make us feel like our body is is really just made for a man anything we do should be for a man's approval and if a woman isn't walking, talking, living, showing herself in a way that a man would approve of, she's a whore, she's, you know, the scum of society, right? So basically, our whole reality is based on a man. So we have to keep that in mind when we think of anything that's told, anything um, scientific, <laughs> anything scholastic, when it comes to biologically once again these are things that men want us to know men are controlling the narrative here so when it comes to a woman and her menstrual now of course a disclaimer to to women that you know may not have a menstrual women that you know infertility issues things of that nature um i do apologize and even that has its own spiritual meaning but I won't be getting into that on this particular video. Um, you know, but for women that have a normal um, menstrual cycle, what they'll tell you is, now you can look this up, what they'll tell you is, you know, that's the egg coming through and wanting to be fertilized, right? It's just evolution at its finest. Our, our body is sending out these hormones, and every month we we disperse of the egg so let's keep that in mind now what they'll also say is that women are basically just these these holes these pits that collect all these souls right so anytime a woman has intercourse with a man, he's, his energy is just being dumped into her. And she's just carrying around all these all these soul ties. And this narrative is just repeatedly given to women. But what, what about men? <laughs> oh, I forgot. I forgot. Women have the keyhole and men are the key. So, of course, with women being the one that receive... You know, we're, we have to, I, I know, I get it. I, I know the narrative. I'm, I'm very familiar that women, we're basically just the trash dump that receives all the energetic um, remnants from our partners. Which is fine, cool. But, um, nature is, is a mother. So... When it comes to mothers, what, what we tend to do is dot our I's, cross our T's. So Mother Nature, she made sure that 
as women, our bodies naturally purify and detox themselves. So, okay. Soul tie. Cool. We can run with that. But every month, my body literally scrapes my uterus clean. I mean, the lining, all the, all the dead eggs and blood cells, everything. I mean, for days. My body is purging, right? So you expect me to believe that after all that, the bloating, the cramps, all these things, you know, you get acne. Your body is literally detoxifying during your menstrual cycle. After all that, I, I still got a soul tie. Women, no. <laughs> no, that shit is not real. I mean, maybe mentally you're tied, but please don't blame your vagina that makes sure that she keeps herself detoxified and purified. I don't care what you've been doing before and after, but during that week, baby, your vagina said, no, ma'am. <laughs> All y'all got to get up out of here. And she cleanses herself. So don't put no soul tie on your pussy. That ain't coming from your pussy. She cleansed. She good. That's your mind. That might be your heart. That's your feelings. But don't say I got a soul tie just because I slept with somebody. And now I'm energetically, no, bitch. No, I'm sorry. That logic makes no sense when I know what a period consists of literally cleansing your womb don't let this patriarchal society <laughs> control the narrative honestly what they really don't want you to know is that your body count restarts after every period I'm telling you your body count all those attachments whatever it is after your body cleanses itself and you release those eggs and those toxins and whatever the fuck else, all those, don't you see the clots? Don't you feel it? All the emotions, all the things that arise during that time. And you want to say you got a soul tie? That ain't nothing but in your head, baby. Don't blame your pussy for that. I'm sorry, I can't run with that narrative. I'm telling you, spiritually, your body count restarts when your period ends. It's up to you how you move next. But don't blame Mother Nature, who made sure she had a get a getaway plan for everything. There's always a refresher, a restart, a renewal. So don't blame your pussy for that. And like I said, so men do what? Men just walk around with no attachments at all? Like, think about it. Who's controlling the narrative? But like I said, this is information for women that can handle it. Until next time.